how she just has had to stay patient and trust the process. And she was a player that stayed all four years with Louisville. That's going to get ugly. And Evans, and now they're going to break everybody up. And Odyssey Sims, I think Courtney Williams came off the bench. You know, Courtney Williams is a player. She did come off the yeah, bench. Yeah, she came off she's, the bench. She's a player that she's a rider, and she's going to have her teammates, her coaches back. Latricia Trammell came all the way down from the other end. There you can see him pushing her away, but she definitely left the bench area. And she puts her arms around Odyssey Sims, just brings the intensity level down, calms her her point guard down. She knows her what her best self looks like. And I mean, it was it was physical right there, and you could see it on the cut before the actual action happens that that was probably going to turn into something. And, and Courtney Williams is a player that this organization loves. And there's a lot of coaches, and I, and I know that she's had a history, but there's a lot of coaches that have coached Courtney Williams and absolutely love her. And again, because who she is rostered with is who she rocks with. And you can see right there, I mean, she was ready to back up her teammate. Well, Courtney Williams definitely walked onto the court. And they're going to take a long look at this one. This could have big ramifications. Angelica Suffren, the crew chief, Angel Kent, Charles Watson. Yeah, Robin Parks official. also came off that bench, too. And yeah. Sorry to I, I cut you off, my friends. I've, I've got two daughters and a wife. This is one of these things, too, that the bench that the action is happening in front of is more vulnerable than the other team. Yeah. And we don't get to see, and the refs don't get to see exactly what happened with the Dallas's bench. But they're going to take a look at Chicago's bench easily because it's right in front of this action. You can just see they're getting tangled up. It was an arm clamp that happened where they called the foul with Natasha Howard earlier. <laughs> and Odyssey goes, what? I didn't do anything. And well done by Odyssey yeah, in that situation. Cool. And again, she's talked about how she's tried to mature. And look, no hands were thrown right there. No. It was all just conversation at that point. But it, it looked like it was something was going to happen. Yeah, it, it definitely looked like something was going to happen. But the officials and the coaching staff for both teams did a great job of making sure nothing happened. Let's go to the game camera and watch the top of your screen right behind Sotu. That's where Courtney Williams is sitting. Yeah, it, I mean, it. Oh, and that's Ruthie Hebert who came off as well. There's a lot of people coming off, but there's peacekeeper rules, I believe, in the WNBA, which college does not have and needs to have. <laughs> which they should have had in the TCU George Washington game this past season. Like I know you're not going to go like there, but I there. can. But you can see here, I mean, there was players coming off of Chicago's bench that were going to pull teammates out of it. And that's exactly what needs to happen. All of this cannot be left for officials to have to deal with. That's a lot asking, but they have their safety that they have to keep in mind as well. And they're going to make double, triple check sure that this is correct call. All three officials, usually you see two, and then one steps out, another one comes in, but they've got all three officials taking a look at this to see what happened to Dana Evans, what happened to Odyssey Sims. The bottom line is we've got a three-point lead by Chicago. Maybe the play of the game is whoever that is holding Robin Parks back. Yeah. Wings about scored Chicago by six here. Isabel in quarter three. Is coming off as well. It, it was, it was. And they're going to still take a look at it once again. Big four game homestand for Dallas. Didn't start out well on Friday night. Chicago 14 three pointers made. They need to get this one because Las Vegas big loser today to New York. They will come in Tuesday as we look at again. And then on Saturday it'll be Connecticut here. 
this from a different angle, and they got tied up. They're looking to see who came off the bench from Dallas. I, I, I haven't seen that part. I, I don't know if our, our shot would even show that. I mean, Dallas was sitting like they were in church over there. Maybe they need to get their glasses fixed. Yeah, they were very uh, chill over there on that bench. Well, I know Brandy Poole and, and uh, Courtney Paris quickly jumped up. They saw what was happening and April Schilling. Everybody, the coaches, they knew, all right, let's get these guys, make sure they don't run out of the court. Here's the outstanding coaching staff. Zach Bunsick right there in the gray suit. First one at practice every day, works with players. Uh, does a great job for the team. Yeah, he, he and his wife are great fixtures in the women's basketball community, doing a lot of things just to continue to give back. And, you know, Zach does a lot of the player development here. I've seen him just spend a ton of time with players at the gym. He built a great relationship with them. Uh, it, this is a great staff. And, you know, I think actually head coaches in the WNBA get a lot of deserved attention. Some of the silent heroes are those assistant coaches. They wear so many hats and are the pace in which they do scouts and practice and team events. Whew, it's a lot. So we know at this point there's an offensive foul on right. Odyssey that they're going to call. And on Dana Evans. Double technical on Simpson Evans. Ruthie Hebert also got a technical. But, but Dallas can take the shot and anybody can take it. Anybody that was on the floor. But Courtney Williams not ejected from this game. Well, Courtney Williams actually, I think, was in the game when this moment happened. So she wasn't leaving, I think, the bench at that moment. She was already in the game. She just was, like I said, she's a rider. There you see Courtney on the bench. Yes, she was on the bench. She just was on the box score as if she was in the game. We're getting information from the officials right now, and it's a lot. Ruthie Hebert is having to be ejected. Well, Ruthie Hebert has been ejected, yeah. yeah. So the bottom line is we're going to shoot some free throws and commence with play. So, Ruthie Hebert will not be finishing the game. 